Today, the first team to score will be the winner of the game. I'll be playing a 15 game regular season starting with a 40 overall team, but after every game, each player will get an upgrade. If my team makes the playoffs, the CPU will now be in control of the team. And the goals of this video are to get the entire team the 99 overall and win an NBA championship. Subscribe to the channel. We're one sub away from 900K. Let's go. All right, so here's the team off 40 overalls. Obviously got a lot of upgrades to do, but we'll work on that. Let's get into our first game versus the Timberwolves. I have no idea how I'm going to actually score in this game, but I guess we'll see. We'll see if I can win the jump ball and we don't. Okay, well, we're going to have to try to get a stop with no defensive ratings. I'm not losing the Nas Reed. I'm not losing the Nas Reed. Okay, okay. All right, hold on. Call for the screen. Roll, 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 roll. Dude, you got... You, can you move a little faster than what you... Oh, no. I, I have to give that up. <laughs> well, it's time to go ahead and get these upgrades. Let's see what the point guard upgrade is going to be. Trey Young's defense. Well, our guy Julian Jackson still a 40 overall, but he's got some nice ratings. Up next is the shooting guard upgrade. We're going to go ahead and get Tyler Hero's physicals. Okay. That actually brought Lambert up to a 44. All right, so we're making some moves. And now we have our small forward upgrade. That's going to be Sean Marion shooting. Okay. This put Charlie Johnson up to a 53 overall. The three-point shot's not really there, but it's got a nice little midi and close shot. Those were the ratings for older Sean Marion, like 2011 Sean Marion. We're going to get Sean Kemp shooting for power forward upgrade. And Bruce got to a 57 overall. Can't really shoot the three ball, but got a nice little mid-range. And Sean Kemp randomly had just one shooting bat, so we put it on. And here's our final upgrade after the first game. We're gonna go ahead and get Rudy Gobert shooting. Let's go. I don't know who gave Gobert a 60 mid-range, but he's up to a 49 overall now, so good for him. And let's get into our matchup versus the Rockets. They got a pretty solid team. I'm sure with our new Rudy Gobert shooting upgrade, I'll probably be able to win this jump ball against Frank Kaminsky. Why is he in the game for them? I'm just keeping my hands up. Just What? No! I, I, I thought I thought I got the ball. Oh my god, he dotted it. Look at that. It just it barely grazed my hair. Okay. I thought I had the steal. Alright, well, we could really use some defensive upgrades. I'm gonna prioritize that. Or let's just get Ben Simmons shooting. Yeah, that's cool. Well, here's Jackson's new shooting. He's now at a 44 overall. Alright, well, last time our shooting guard got athleticism. We'll see if he gets this time. Prime James Harden Oh, he just moved up a tier. Okay, tier two physical. Well, he only went from a 44 to a 46, but he's the most athletic player on our team. I believe Charlie got Sean Marion shooting last time, and he's gonna Oh, he almost got Laurie Markin shooting, which would have been a tier up, but he got Duncan Robinson finishing. Well, Duncan Robinson's finishing got him somehow to a 60 overall. And last time, our power forward also got a shooting upgrade. Let's see what he gets now. Kelly Olynyk playmaking. That got Bruce to a 58 overall. And yeah, the, the, Kelly Olynyk does not have too many good playmaking attributes. The passing vision's not bad, I guess. Here's our final upgrade before game three of the season. It's gonna be Vuce. Oh my god, we got tier two shooting. We're actually gonna have a big man who can knock down shots. Corey Jordan is now a 59 with his new shooting ability. And he also got two shooting badges. Let's get into game three. We're facing a Spurs. We gotta beat one of these bad teams. You know, I'd really like the game to not be decided by a jump ball. Finally, we win. Okay, okay, we have, we literally have to score. I'm doing a pick and pop. Go off the screen there. Go out. Come on. Oh, he didn't really. Okay, I have a mismatch though. I'm going down low. Dude, this center is so bad. Just go up with it. Go up with it. All right, we finally got to win. We, it's about damn time. We are now in the playoff hunt with 11 games left. We're going to get James Harden shooting tier two upgrade. Julian is now a 57 overall with some pretty solid shooting. And he also got 10 shooting badges. He's looking good. Let's see if we can go ahead and get our shooting guard for this upgrade. Danny Green's playmaking. Yeah, that's great. Danny Green had no playmaking badges, but this combined with his athleticism might make him pretty good. Up next is a small forward upgrade who is currently our, uh, our best player right now. Sorry, but Joe Johnson's physical. That man is like 41 years of age. And all those physicals brought Charlie to a 64 overall still the best player on the team and now here's our power forward upgrade that's gonna go ahead and be patrick williams defense which his defense isn't that bad but you know we just you know what we gotta do all right we, you got it. and now bruce is the best player on the team at a 65 overall i really like our center build right now i'll see how much better we get though catch shooting we got oh my god i use the all-time towns for these ratings because they kind of did current towns ratings dirty and he now has six shooting badges and now we gotta go against dame we almost have every single player over a 50 overall and here we go Okay, well, <laughs> we, we are in trouble. I'm on that. I'm on that. No way. Board. Okay, all right. We got a score here. I'm just going to go in the post. We got we got our seven-footer. You just you got to... Ooh. Lambert's our most athletic guy. He can keep up. Oh, no, no. Not Dame 3. Oh, my God. He missed. Let's go off the screen. Fa oh, I smoked it. I smoked it so bad. No, no. I'm right there. Okay, all right. We're going to double over time. Gonna come down to the jump ball once again. All right, we got it. Open in the corner. Can you shoot? I I don't. Was that? I shot that with Charlie Johnson, right? Oh, he's got a 61 three ball. <laughs> We've done so many upgrades. I forget who has what. Oh, no. No, I'm on that. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm just taller than you. I can just shoot it over you. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. No. Board, grab it. Time out, time out. Okay, I, I got time for a shot. Nobody sent me a screen. Those screens were ass. Now we gotta go to triple overtime. I'm going, I'm going. We just don't have anyone go. Oh, got him in the air. What? I got stripped. Get it back. Foul. I got fouled. To win the game in triple overtime, 
There it is. <laughs> what a terrible basketball game. We now move to 2-2. Two two, and I'm actually very impressed with our defense there. Lonzo Ball defense tier 2. That's nice. Our point guard's pretty much a 3 and D player right now. And he got himself 8 defensive badges. Let's see what Lambert's upgrade's gonna go ahead and be. We got rookie Michael Jordan shooting. Okay, tier 1. And that put Lambert at a 61, meaning all of our players are over a 60 overall now. We got the small forward wheel up next. And that's gonna go ahead and be Dominique Wilkins physicals. Yeah, okay, tier 2. And Charlie's now our highest rated player at a 65. Here we got the power forward wheel. And that's gonna be Pascal Siak. Is playmaking. That's way better than Kelly Olenek. And now Bruce Houston is our highest overall player at a 66. And since we unlocked all the shooting upgrades for the set, there's only going to be four upgrade spots left on the wheel. Now we have Kendrick Perkins physical. Corey's now a 67, and Kendrick Perkins actually had 95 strength. So yeah, that's going to be that's pretty good to have, but the speed is just not there at all. Let's get into game five where we have a tough matchup versus the Lakers. Another jump ball, and we got it. Okay. And LeBron is just like not in the game for them. I, I really don't know why teams have bad rotations in overtime. I did just inherit Kendrick Perkins strength, so we're going right up with that. And that's game. That was probably the easiest win I've had. Well, let's go ahead and get these upgrades. Here's our point guard. It's gonna be Chris Paul's physicals and like current Chris Paul. So 37-year-old Chris Paul, which is obviously better than having 25 speed in Excel. So we'll take it. It's just nothing crazy. Next up, we have the shooting guard wheel, which is our most athletic player so far. We're gonna get, <laughs> okay, as, as athletic as you could possibly get. The man was called the Flash for a reason. Now we have 96 speed in Excel. Well, that was pretty good. Here we got the small forward upgrade. Paul George is finishing. That's nice. We almost have our first 70 overall, but he got some good finishing added. And he now has eight finishing badges. I don't know what our power forward really is at this point. We got P.J. Tucker's finishing. Yeah, that's pretty elite. Well, I gave him all of P.J. Tucker's finishing and gave him the one badge he has. Let's see what our last upgrade for the center is going to be. Enos Freedom's defense. Nice. And obviously, his defense is terrible, but he has some really good rebounding, so I guess that helped out. Let's get into our sixth game versus the Warriors. All right, I think I fished the issue where, like, they wouldn't have the starters actually in the game, and we won the jump ball. Good start. You know what? I'm feeling confident. I, I thought I greened it. I thought that was good timing. Okay, we just got to we gotta stop. We got to stop. Well, okay. Well, we could just we we could just chalk this one up as a loss. You could just do this with your eyes closed, buddy. Yep, there you go. And we lost. <laughs> like, well, let's go ahead and get into our first upgrade here for the point guard. It's gonna be Steph Curry shooting. All right, I am I am pulling every deep three I can possibly do. Jackson's now our best player to 74, and now he has every shooting badge in the game. Not all of them on Hall of Fame, but he has every single badge. Let's just see it. Yeah, I don't know who's guarding that. Here's the shooting guard wheel. It only has four spots on it now because we got rid of all the... I forget what attribute it was, but we got JJ Reddick's finishing. I put all the finishing attributes on him, and he does not have any finishing badges. Not surprised. Now it's time for our small forward wheel spin. It's going to be Carmelo Anthony's defense, and that's current Carmelo, like 38-year-old, however old he is. It's obviously better than it all being 25, but again, it really is not much of an increase there. I guess the lateral quickness is nice. Let's go ahead and see what our power forward upgrade is going to be. Evan Mobley's defense. That's an improvement. He's now up to a 73 with some good defensive attributes, and he got himself six badges. Let's see what my favorite player the team's upgrade is going to be Andre Drummond's playmaking. That's insane. Drummond's had a lot of very interesting moments with the ball in his hands, but uh, yeah, I guess the passing IQ is a nice one. That's at a 70. Every game from now on is a must win. We almost have the entire team over a 70 overall. All right, let's make this win easy. Got the jump ball. Roll. Roll to the basket. There we go. Let's go to work. Go up, Houston. There we go. All right, that was easy. So that put us at four and three, and we're now the six seed. Good. We got to keep pace. Let's go ahead and see what our point guard upgrade is going to be here. Muggsy Bowes finishing. That's fantastic. Obviously not going to be able to dunk, but he got a nice driving layup. And he also has four badges, one of them being Hall of Fame Jaisler. That might come in handy. Now let's go ahead and do the shooting guard upgrade. Not sure what we're going to get here. James Harden's defense. I think all the tier ones are gone now from this wheel. I gave Lambert all of Harden's defense, and surprisingly, he doesn't have any defensive badges. I'm sure that's a shocker. Now we're on to the small forward board, which I think is the only one that has five left on, or maybe one of them has five left as well. Laurie Mark and shooting. Okay. Now Charlie's become a way better shooter. Almost an 80 overall. And he got himself eight shooting badges. Pretty nice. And now we have the power forward. But we're going to go to get Tim Duncan's defense. That's a tier three upgrade. We officially have our first 80 overall on the team with some elite defense. And he also got 10 defensive badges. Let's see what the center upgrade is going to go ahead and give us Shaq's physicals. That's nice. Here's all Shaq's physicals. He's got 78 speed, 74 excel. That is nasty. And I guess we got Shaq's physicals just in time. We got to play against Jokic. Well, we have Shaq's physicals now. I should win this jump ball. Okay. Yep. Just lose to Jokic. Come on, Jordan. Come on. No. No. No, no! That was so cheese. I, I literally couldn't do anything. Look at this cheese right here. Just gets the spit. Just elbows me in the head. And just, yeah, I'm just going to lay it up. No offensive foul. Nothing. That puts us at 4-4. Four and four And there were the 10 seed. By the way, there's no playing tournament. I think I took it out. So we have to get the 8 seed. I'm just looking for all defensive upgrades at this point. We really need them badly. Okay, Gary Payne's defense. <laughs> just in time. And now Julian's at an 81 overall with his elite defense. And he now has 10 defensive badges. Six of them being on Hall of Fame. So now the point guard will only has three spots on it left. And now we're going to get Jalen Brown's playmaking. Okay, as long as he doesn't dribble on the 
the traffic will be fine. He definitely got better at handling the ball. And he got a couple playmaking badges. He's definitely our worst player still. And now we have the small forward. A lot of good upgrades here. Prime LeBron James physicals. That's exactly what we needed. It was pretty much just a speed and strength upgrade just because Dominique Wilkins already had crazy vertical and everything else like that. But we have 95 speed on our small forward. All right, let's see what we get here in the power forward wheel. Pascal Siakam playmaking. Who was the other power forward that we have for this? I don't even remember who it was. So apparently we already did Pascal Siakam playmaking. I guess I forgot to take it off the wheel. So we're going to do Draymond Green's playmaking, which is tier three. Hopefully that's the only time I mess up the wheel, but I got all the ratings here. And Draymond also had a good amount of playmaking badges. We need some lockdown defense here from the center position. going to be Bam out of bounds playmaking. Okay, I'm cool with that. Bam has good ball handling rating, so this helped out a lot. And we got to go up against Luka. Hopefully that Gary Payton defense comes through. This is quite literally a must win. All right, we cut the ball. I'm going to my most athletic guy with four seconds left. Just, just give me, just, just, just come on. Get around, get around, foul, foul. No foul, no foul on that. No, Luka, no. That's good defense. Thank you. Oh, that's that Gary Payton defense, man. Snatch back, pull. There, I gotta do that more. If I have Luka on me, I gotta do the snatch back pull every time. That put us at five and four. We're now the seventh seed. Let's get some more good upgrades here. What do we got for the point guard? Penny Hardaway finishing. Okay. Well, we got his layup and dunk pretty high. 70 steady dunk. I don't think he'll be able to do that at 6'3. And now he's got a good amount of finishing badges. What do we got next for our small forward upgrade? Andrew Wiggins defense. All right, hopefully he actually gets back to play, man. The Warriors need him. I feel like Wiggins defense is actually underrated. I feel like these ratings are not doing him well. But he got a couple nice badges. Now we're on to the power forward wheel, which only has three spots on it. Julius Randle finishing tier too. Houston's up to an 87 overall now. I would love to get some defense here for our big man, and it's gonna be... Oh, we almost had Will Chamberlain at that. I couldn't even talk there, but we got Jokic's playmaking. That's great, too. The ball handling stayed around the same, but the passing got crazy elite, and the playmaking badges are crazy. We got a big game here versus the Suns. Let's lock in. Looking to go 6-4 and four here. Please win the... Listen, I've been dominating those jump balls ever since I got that Shaq... Oh, no. Did I lose to Jokic? I got a post fade. That, that's just a terrible shot. Get the rebound. Get the rebound. Thank you for bailing me out. Oh, I didn't even know if he could shoot. I just shot it. I just shot. I, I, I literally had no idea if he could shoot or not. Okay, he can shoot. I forget what shooting ability he has. Small four. This is probably a tier two shooting. And that put us at six and four. We're the four seed. We just have to. I, I think the most of that amount of losses we can have is probably six or seven. If we have any more than that, we're probably cooked. Let's go ahead and get some of those upgrades. What do we got now? Penny Hardaway's physicals. We've used Penny for two other things. That put Julian Jackson at an 84. Got the shooting guard wheel here. A lot of good upgrades here. Kyrie Irving playmaking. He's going to be nasty. So now Lambert has 99 ball handling. And he's got all these crazy playmaking badges. I think three of the upgrades here on the small four wheel are tier three upgrades. We're going to get Kevin Durant shooting. So here's Charlie with KD shooting. And the KD I chose has every single shooting badge in the game, all on gold except for, I believe it is, guard up. Yeah, okay. Now we're on to the power four wheel. We got Zion's finishing. That's going to be crazy. He's so close to being a 90 overall. And he's got every single finishing badge in the game. We got a good matchup versus the Kings, who I believe are the first seed by now, the second seed. All right, we're not playing around this game. Going for the jump ball. Okay, that's a great start. Not messing around. Snatch back, pull. Ball game. Okay, I'm, we need to just get this team into the playoffs. That put us right at 74. I think still the four seed as we were last time, but still, we got to just rack up some more wins, no losses. But let's go ahead and get our next point guard upgrade, which is going to be Mario Chalmers playmaking. Nice. And Mario Chalmers playmaking got him up to a 93 overall. Going to be able to get off those shots a lot easier now. Not like it was already easy in the first place. Up next, we got the shooting guard where we're going to get Lou Dort's defense. That's an improvement for sure. Lambert's now at 282 with Lou Dort's defense, and we got to make defensive badges. This team's pretty close to being an all 90 overall team. We got Scotty Pippen's defense up next for the small forward. Charlie's up to a 92 with Scotty's a oh, just insane defense. And he also got 11 badges with four, one, two, three, four, five of them being Hall of Fame. Oh my God. We got our power forward upgrade next. Only have two spots here. Chris Boss is shooting. That's good. Well, that improved the shooting a little bit, especially the three-point shot. And he really only got one badge, which was catch and shoot. He already had Claymore. And now here's our center's upgrade. We're going to get Ben Simmons finishing. Okay. And Ben Simmons actually has some pretty good finishing ready. 86 driving dunk, 83 standing dunk, not bad. And he has six bronze badges. Let's see how we stack up versus the Pelicans. Let's just follow the formula. Win this jump ball. Give the ball to our Curry. No, dude. I don't know how I'm going to guard Zion. I don't know how I'm going to guard Zion. I don't know how I'm going to guard Zion. Get this. All right, CJ. I'm sorry, bro. You're going to have to get this deep three, buddy. No. No. We dropped down to the seventh seed. Okay, the people who are the eighth seed both have seven losses. Okay, so if we just, as long as we don't go down to seven losses, we're good. Let's go ahead and get these upgrades. We need a big one here. Prime Russell Westbrook athleticism. Yeah, physicals. Okay, let's go. Like, if I can't scroll with Julian Jackson at this point, I'm just ass, bro. There's just nothing around it. What do we got for our shooting guard here? Mike, we just, all the defense we could ask for, plus we got the shooting. We're good with that. Defense is going to help out. I think Lambert went up like six overalls after getting MJ's defense. The badges helped out a lot. Look at all these defensive badges. We don't have too many upgrades left on the small forward. We're going to get 
second, Dr. J's finishing. Charlie's our highest rated player at 95. And I thought Dr. J would have more finishing badges. I guess not. Time for our power forward. I'm kind of hoping for Dirk shooting. Okay, we're just getting Kevin Love's physicals. We're starting out easy. And somehow Kevin Love's physicals got him to a 95 because obviously he had 25 speed and all that. I need my guy Corey Jordan to get to a 90 overall here. What do we got? Rob Williams defense? That's good. Well, he had Enos Freedom's defense last time, so that's definitely an improvement. Finally got himself some badges. And now the entire team is a 90 overall. I can't lose. Win this jump ball. Okay. Off the screen. I'm pulling the fade. Make it. Dude, dude. Oh, good rebound. Great rebound. Thank you for bailing me out. Okay, Lambert's become a demon recently. I'm going to run the pick and roll with him. He's, he's, he's become pretty good. If I could just get around here, lay it up and in. That was easy. That's my guy. All right, so now we're the six seed. If I just win one more game, we're in. That's all I got to do. But let's go ahead and keep getting these upgrades. We got Jordan Poole's playmaking. That's great. So now we have three players that are 95 overall. And he got a couple nice playmaking badges. Let's see what happens to the MVP of our last game. We're going to get Jimmy Butler finishing. Okay. Lambert is almost elite at everything. He just can't really shoot, but he's got so many badges everywhere else. There's only one thing left on the small four wheel, but there's obviously going to be tiers to it. But we got Michael Porter Drew's playmaking because he literally doesn't pass. And there's the tier one. And that put Charlie Johnson up to a 97. So close to 99. Only two upgrades to play from here with the power forward spot. Kevin Garnett physicals. That's big. And now we have two players who are 97 overall. Let's get our upgrade for the center position. We got Bill Russell's defense. Yeah, he's going to be locking down low. And now three players on the team are 97 overall. It's very convenient. And yeah, these Bill Russell defensive badges are different, bro. Let's get into game number 14 of the season. Once again, let's take care of business and let's build. Book that bit big book that play to the tick playoffs. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but okay, let, let's try to win this game. Go through the screen. Go through. Go through the screen. We're good. Everyone stay on there, man. I, ah! Why would you? Bro, you are Bill Russell's defense. Like, what are you doing? And we are not a lock for the playoffs. That game would have locked us in, but now we have to make sure we win this game. I'd say for the upgrades to help us, but I, I don't know what I could have done there. Okay, John Morant finishing. I'm not going to lie. That didn't really do much for Julian Jackson. I guess the big badge we got was posterizer, but other than that, these badges were kind of basic. Well, here we go with the shooting guard upgrade. It's going to be Kobe Bryant's finishing. That put Lambert out of 95. That really didn't do much. Well, I wonder what we land on here with the small forward wheel. It's going to be Jason Tatum's playmaking. Nice. Charlie's almost a 99. We have two very good upgrades here on the power four wheel. It's going to be Dirk shooting. I'm sure that's going to help. And Houston is our first 99 overall on the team with these insane shooting badges. These, this is nuts. Let's see what our center upgrade is going to go ahead and be. Anthony Davis finishing. Okay. We now have another member of the 99 club. We got ourselves a must win game versus Westbrook. Last game of the season. Oh my God. I just can't win jump balls now. Please lock up. Please lock up. Please. I'm, I'm right there. I'm right there. Thank you. Bo board. Sorry, Bones. You got to get this bucket. Game. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Our playoff. <laughs> this video would have sucked if I didn't lock in the playoff spot. And there we are, right there at the sixth spot. Now, each wheel has one upgrade left, except for the shooting guard wheel. It's only on tier two, and then the center wheel has two upgrades left. But I'm going to apply all these upgrades to the rest of my team, and then I'll see you guys in a second. So now, here's our new rotation with every single player being a 99 overall on this team. Well, I've done my part of the video. Let's see if the CPU can now take themselves to the championship with this team. Also, whenever they win a playoff game, I'm going to spin from an upgrade wheel. Whatever it lands on is what's going to happen to the entire team. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous to see what the CPU does with this team because obviously I've been controlling them the whole time. Okay, we don't want a side angle. Houston giving it to Jackson White. That should go in. Yeah, you cannot leave Jackson White open. I don't know what Lillard was doing. He just like didn't care to play basket. They shut him down for the season. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and get that upgrade here. We're going to go ahead and get plus one overall to everybody. Cool. Not like this will really do much, but we'll take it. Well, if game one goes anything or game two goes anything like oh, that's what I was trying to say. You, you get the point there. Lambert going to use the screen here. Drive it. Bro, what is Dame doing? How do you, you have a 99 three ball? Oh, good rebound from Jordan. But what is Dame doing? This man, Dame, is just quitting on his franchise. Why are you sitting in the paint on a guy with a 99 three ball? What are you doing? I mean, he missed it, but still. I guess we'll go ahead and get our next upgrade. That's going to go ahead and be a plus two. Can we get plus two? Okay, that's nice. Not really sure what everyone needs to be better at, but you know, you know, everything helps. Listen, I'm down for the sweep as long as Dame just keeps leaving our guy wide open. I'm fine. Jackson. J Jackson, what kind of shot? I, okay, I mean, I mean, okay, Dave, Dave, I'm not gonna blame you there, bro. If he's gonna make that, he's just, uh, just the man right there. We are going for the sweep here, ladies and gentlemen. We got plus five overall. Okay, some of these guys are gonna have 99 on every single stat sooner or later. No need to go to a game five here. Let's just get it done. Jackson, okay, all right, bro, all right, bro. You're, you're yeah, okay, you're, you're tweaking. You, you are tweaking, bro. <laughs> let's try and get a stop here, though. Just stay, just stay in front of Dame. Okay, that's that is some good defense. That is some amazing defense. That is amazing. Okay. Well, this one's over. It was fun, but I guess we're going to game five. All right, well, can we not blow this? Well, we didn't really blow last game. The refs kind of screwed us over, but it is what it is. Diable Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
God, how do you smoke that? Jackson trying to drive lane. Got it to go. All right, we're going to the second round. Jackson has put the team on his back, scoring, what, six points in, in five games? Good job, man. And that's another upgrade for us. We're going to go ahead and get another plus five overall. Let's get into our second round matchup versus the Clippers. This should be a good series. I feel like we should have the jump ball advantage over every center in the league. But okay, but I guess now we're going to lose to Plumlee. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Please play tight. Play tight. No fouls. Play tight. No, hell no. Okay, here we go. What are we doing? He's wider. He's wide. Give him the ball. How do you break that bad? We got to go to double OT now. Kyle driving to the basket here. Nothing there for him. Good block. Okay, he's running the fast break. He's wide open. All right, we take game one. That was easy. I meant the way we scored was easy. Not the game itself. Obviously, went to double overtime. Plus one to all badges. That's nasty. So they all get a badge boost by one. Well, here we go. Game two. And we, okay, we can beat Miles Plumley in a jump ball. Jackson uses a screen here. Bro, he is just so trigger happy, bro. He just shoots every shot that's just like slightly open. Hell no. Okay. Dude, our big man runs the floor like crazy, man. He, he is way too fast. That man has 99 speed. <laughs> like, there's no one who can stay in front of him. I guess I'll take as many upgrades as I can get, and we'll get pl almost plus one all badges again, plus two overall. Looking to steal game three here in L. Okay, well, he wins the jump. I don't know why we're so bad at winning jump balls. TG trying to ISO on Lambert. Can I, like, I can't even challenge that. Because I don't think he fouled him. I think he flopped and got away with one. Let's try and bounce back from that terrible game three. And we lose the jump ball. I think the only games we lost have been from fouls. So let's just try to not foul. We'll be good. PG trying to Like, can we stop fouling? This is really going to be two to two because we just can't stop fouling. This is so dumb. I'm actually worried if we lose this jump ball, we're going to go down three two. Because we just keep fouling. Okay, we won the... You know what we won. Been having a hard time talking to Lambert. What the hell kind of shot is that? Westbrook using the screen. There's oh, Jesus! He bricked that back. Oh my! Like, why do we keep fat? Okay, hold on. I forgot Plumlee is a terrible free throw shooter. And, of course, he makes the second. We're, we're really going to lose this series all foul. Well, UCLA, which is the first time I ever said the team name, it's, it's do or die here. You got to win the jump ball. And we, okay, we're actually serious this game. Jack. You're lucky Jordan bailed you out because you're, you're a troll, bro. I guess we'll get our upgrade real quick. Why not? We're going to get plus five overall. Okay, I, I don't think we need these anymore, but we'll just keep doing them. All right, well, here I guess is where the video could end. And okay, we win the jump ball just like game six. Houston using the screen. Bro, this team is not serious. Why using the screen here? Trying to drive. He don't have the angle. That's some good. That's some great. De that's amazing defense. Hell. What in the 2006 NBA fi What in the 2006 NBA Finals am I watching? Like, okay, like his thumb like kind of went through the arm there, but like it's 2K, bro. This is such a nasty way to lose, bro. That That's nasty, bro. Like, I, I, I can't believe we lost that. Well, shout out to the most rigged series in NBA history. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This took a long time to record and to set up everything, bro. This took forever. Sorry, right, I'm, I'm gonna go. Okay, goodbye.